our papa mohoru mala hi guys oh, welcome back to my channel <laughs> today we're making mala mohoru and some pap mm -hmm. mohoru and some pap i got these two packets of mohoru and mala mohoru is stomach it's cow stomach and cow intestines yes so we're gonna start with washing this washing your mohori is super duper important and guess what mohori, my mohori that i'm making today is gonna be cooked in 45 minutes yes no long hours of your mohori on the stove we are gonna have it done in 45 minutes i've got a big bowl you can do this in your kitchen sink milo is lurking around she's right there because the smell of mohori makes her happy i hope this is not very dirty and the smell is not too bad either because sometimes yo oh i love it it's, it looks like there's like a great ratio of intestines i'm gonna start with i'm getting rid of the fat i'm just finding the start of the intestine and pulling the fat away milo is standing right here making sure that i'm doing a good job trust these scissors not to cut what the hell I got a knife now. It is so much better to cook mohori in winter because you don't have flies. Not these days. These flies are out here. Be careful. Don't do it like I do it. You're going to cut yourself. And there we have all of the fat removed. We're going to discard of that. This is going to be the most time consuming part. And this is also stomach that has a fat cap here that I'm also going to remove. Very fatty cow. This one. This part of the stomach is what we call the Bible. If you can see it. Can you see how it is? It's got like thin pages. When you wash it, you have to make sure that you go through each and every nook, cranny, crevice to get all of the dirt out. I want to take this to the sink, rinse it. and I managed to bring it to the sink, so just fill it up with water and start going through your mohoru making sure you're getting all of the dirt out especially focusing on this piece you can see it's very dirty getting all of the crevices and getting the dirt out get it all out you can see this is so dirty you can pull it off like that just grab it and pull it this is not the dirtiest mohoru i've ever cleaned i've seen and smelt worse trust me then i'm gonna pour out the dirty water whoops i'm gonna give it one more rinse through clean mohoru now we're gonna take it over to slice it into what do you what it, what is it obviously all of them are edible mouth size what what's the word bite size there we go english bite size pieces i like mine the size but i know some people do it smaller no that's not for me but when it comes to the intestines do them a little bit bigger than you think like double the size that you want to chew on because they do shrink quite a lot it sucks that this packet of mohori didn't have like the other parts like usually you get that's done at a full cocoa or bailu the heart the throat and I said hard for my 12. What's my 12? Lungs. Which I love the texture of lungs. And the throat, cocotto. Because it's like cartilage. So you're just chewing on the cartilage. Mm hmm. Deliciousness. And then I'm um, slicing my intestines. Like I said, double the size of what you think bite size is. I'm gonna take this to the. I'm gonna maybe to sink. Zinky. And rinse it one more time before putting it in the pot now let's get into how our mohoru is not gonna take us hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of cooking to get it to the desired softness tenderness deliciousness that we want that is through our trusty frame the pressure cooker it comes in clutch it's a game changer when cooking mohoru where you don't have to check on the pot within those hours to fill up the water make sure what i kakateli it's not sticking to the bottom this right here is your friend and i know a lot of people are scared of the pressure cooker but these new and improved pressure cookers are safe as long as you follow the instruction you don't force the top to open before releasing this one has a safety lock 
if you haven't released all of the steam it won't open i don't know if you force it but it won't so you have to release all of the steam and bobby's your uncle so now how i grew up eating mohodu is plain and simple very pure no fuss not adding too much to it and then i've got half an onion chopped up that goes in i have this knorr beef flavor so cute going in with one you can crack in black pepper i'm gonna use white pepper you know white pepper is black pepper just the outer husk of the black pepper <coughs> of the paper corn <laughs> just the outer husk of the paper corn is removed i'm not gonna add salt right now because i've added the stock cube the best lesson <coughs> the best lesson i've learned in the kitchen is with seasoning that you can always add more but can never take out so i like to season it once it's done and then i taste for seasoning and then i season because one can never tell because when you're cooking it in a pressure cooker you don't have time to taste in between or whatever you get to taste it when it's done so i wait with my salt and then let's add water when using the pressure cooker you're gonna need less water than what you think because remember what the pressure cooker does it stops evaporation from happening the water is not going to evaporate so i like to like that it doesn't even it doesn't even need to cover your mohoru like that i feel like is enough popped my top on and then my settings i'm gonna go bean and beef and then go up to the most amount of minutes it's willing to give me that's 50 and let that go for 50 minutes it's 50 minutes later and as you can hear the pressure cooker is done so you're gonna let the pressure out and take look at it when is this part to be soft it's so hot oh it is cooked <laughs> it's nice and soft oh my gosh i burn my hands i got this brown onion soup and i'm gonna pour a little bit of it in here and then mix it with water and this will slightly thicken but you don't want it that thick the consume consume we can call it because guys are not like more but i guess in english it's consume or the broth and in there it goes mix it in and then now you can taste for like salt pepper whatever you want to add in here just switched on the pressure cooker on keep warm so it this can thicken a bit that's delicious definitely need salt cracking in some salt and some black pepper mix it in while i allow it to thicken a bit get yourself a pot of boiling water how i make my bubble that i like to fill up the water up to where i want my bub to be so like as much bub as i want is as much water as i pour in whisk in my maize meal yes i'm not using the traditional lefeto i don't like it oh first things first don't forget season your water hate unseasoned bub like scabia pot okay and whisk it in make sure there's no lump keep whisking Don't stop whisking, otherwise you'll get burnt. It will splatter on you. Keep whisking vigorously. Okay, get your lid ready. And then let that bubble up for a bit. Turn the heat down to low heat while it bubbles. Now that it's stopped splattering, lay so the wooden spoon. And then we're gonna oh Louisa. at this point we oh Louisa, it's when you're trying to get it to the thickness that you want your pup putting the spoon and then pulling it towards myself up against the pot so that if there's any lumps you smash them up against the pot okay i want a bit more thicker pup so i'm going in with a little just a smidge of maize meal and then stirring that in Making sure it's stirred through. You don't want to serve a bath and find the middle of it like full of uncooked and mixed in maize. Let me lay my bath beautifully. Otherwise, my mom will get mad at me. 
even in her absence because she was like you gotta lay your pop beautifully put the lid on let it cook i like to give it a good 20 minutes i think 15 minutes will be good with this because it's a small pot i'm going to stir my pop again this is called at this point you say meaning you're turning it around yeah i think this is like perfect thickness for pop right now another three minutes on the gas stove it's so quick to cook to all of you who can serve your pap kaleso with this wooden spoon, I, I clap my hands for you. Me, I struggle with me. Me, me, I can't do that. Me. A nice portion of pap and a good helping of the mala mohoru. You've got to be generous. And a good side helping of some homemade chakalaka. If you want my chakalaka recipe, I will link it in the top. And there we have our pap mohoru mala thanks to the pressure cooker we have mohoru ready in less than an hour who does that hmm it's so tender you'd swear that i slaved away on the stove for hours and hours kapia mohoru but no 50 minutes cooked. look at how tender this is only in 50 minutes i hope you enjoyed cooking the 15 minute pressure cooker mohoru with me join me again next time for the next video we'll see what we cook next time and if you liked the video please press the thumbs up button it helps me a lot a lot a lot it helps youtube know that this video is a good video and it recommends it to other people and please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed thank you for watching Bye bye